Uh, what happens when you want to start, start taking some Photoshop capability when you're in your train or commuting or out on a photo shoot and you actually want to start using the device to maybe do some things around organization or image manipulation? What are these new devices capable of? So, what I want to show you here is a concept uh, of some technology we're looking at. Um, and this is where I was going to pick an image here real quick. Uh, we'll start with uh, this image uh, of this fire here. And I'm going to do something, I'm going to come in and add a layer on top of that. Uh, this is the model before she was manipulated. I'm going to come through real quick and just show you uh, the performance of this. It's something where you can come in and resize this and it runs in a uh, really nice time. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and I'm going to pop a hole through this. So I'm going to actually uh, erase here. Let me change the uh, oops. Uh, brush size is good. I'm going to come through and now erase on top of the untouched model with the one behind it that has the fire hair. And just to show you what that looks like, uh, I'm actually going to animate these layers and show you that. What does layers actually look like to people who don't understand the concept? So when you're looking at someone who's trying to understand what's happening in Photoshop and how the layers work, this is a great kind of a tool to help them along that path. I just got a little more complex. Uh, I'm going to do something else. So I'm going to show you the layers. So look in the lower left-hand corner here. You can see that you actually bring up a little window that shows you where your layers are. I'm going to come in and add another layer. We'll have a gray layer on top of that. So you see the gray layer uh, pops in. I will come in again. And we'll do something very simple here. Let's just... Uh, Erase her face to show the color coming through. I'm an artist, but I will do my best here just to show the concept. And then again, as I go back in and I animate those layers, now you see that third layer come through. And if you notice, if I do a last image under, you can see that those actually appear in the layers in real time. So again, just a concept about how do we take technology that's been found in things like Lightroom and Photoshop and actually extend that out into these devices as they become more important to your workflow. So some great stuff here.